trying to get herself going, Danielle Collins. She's guaranteed at least a tie break in this final set. Because she leads by six games to five. Foot fault called. Now, players never like that. Yeah, that, that's a clear one. That's a clear one. Yeah, so following the successful challenge, it was a first serve, Danielle Collins had gone to the... Oh, the court. Now, now it is a double fault. Tough opening match there. It's been bubbling for a while. Corne been unhappy with a few calls in the first set, but Corne saying it's straight on the line. You have to see this one. It's a double fault for Missaline Bonaventure. That game was littered with them. And Elise Corne will now serve for the second set. Corne's serving has been much more solid in this second set than the first. given a code violation there for unsportsmanlike conduct not quite sure what that was for oh. Elise Corne can't believe that Ball's been overruled. Well, this match is descending into chaos a little bit here. Both players frustrated with the umpire for both the same and different reasons. Just out. I, I, I saw White as well. She got a better view. 40 30. I can understand why. Out. I don't see the bounce because you're in front of me. I didn't see the ball bouncing. Yeah, maybe I trust her. I couldn't see. She was in front of me. I didn't see the bounce. I believe you. So once again, Rubikina will challenge the correction. This did look in. And it 
it does catch the line. So the point will be replayed. Bring that point. Because of that, Wang gets a first serve again, not the second Don't serve that she needed. I think she wanders. Rubikina hit it out anyway. is getting involved. I just have a, a confusion in my mind. It's correct that she challenged, but she the thing out. is that the ball was called out, so the point was interrupted mm -hmm. by the line umpire. Mm -hmm. Okay? I overruled, she can still challenge, yeah. but it's a replay the point, because the point was already interrupted by the line umpire. So regardless of the outcome of the, of the challenge now, we have to replay the point. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I was completely confused, but I'm sure, yeah. yeah. Well, we got there in the end. Just the long way round. When does the call come? It is just before she strikes the ball. The ace out wide. Let's, let's have a look at this one. Stritzer is adamant that the ball is clearly out. Another ace. Para leads 3 2 second set. Feels it was out. She feels she can see a mark there. Mm -hmm. 
Very difficult to tell on that, but that's a perfect, perfect uh, angle for a reaction. Well, she's still perturbed by the non-call that came her way. She's very unhappy. But she's got to put it behind her. The call didn't come. Brings up set point for Donovakic. Pretense of her not happy. She loves her backhand, does Tom Lianovic, and she has rifled the couple. Well done against a player who it's difficult to get the ball away from. Kelly Thompson 13, having to lay down the law pretense of her unhappy with somebody uh, walking around behind the court of course it's day one and uh okay. and she only needs Number one on Isla Tomlianovic after well over an hour played takes the opening set on a very tight tie break Two set points Yulia Putintseva had, but was denied the set going the way of the Australian number two. Putintseva bubbling over in frustration. Tomlianovic, set to the good, 7-6. asking the chair umpire why none of the line umpires called out if the chair umpire saw it as such from Corning. Corning. Corning was just given a warning for being too slow to penalise that. And there it is. She finds the pass, keeps it low. And the crowd shows their approval. Now that's drama. Back on serve. Oh, corner even with the break. Oh! She is the queen of the 2023 setter, is Elise Corne. The 2016 champion moves into the second round of the Hobart International with a fighting victory over Alison von Oichvank, which wasn't without drama. 
A few questions over line calls and warnings given.